Though many people don't realize it, the Port of Prince Rupert is one of Canada's greatest assets, a North American epicenter of commerce and trade. Located on British Columbia's north coast, the Port of Prince Rupert is tailor-made for deep-sea shipping, a fact that was recognized over 100 years ago when the railroad first reached the Pacific Ocean. The port has the deepest natural harbor in North America, is close to international shipping lanes, and has straightforward access for ships. It's also the closest West Coast port to Asia, with fast rail access to the heart of North America. The Federal Canada Marine Act directs Canadian port authorities to develop and manage their respective port operations autonomously, each with their own board of directors who have full control over all port decisions. Their mission is to enable and expand trade to benefit Canadians, and to do this, they need to be as efficient and competitive as any commercial business. Part of being competitive means shipping diverse cargoes in different ways. Cargoes traded through Prince Rupert include consumer goods, manufacturing inputs, grains, soybeans, coal, lumber, wood pellets, logs, and even passengers. They're moved in containers. They're moved in bulk. They're moved in cruise ships. Cargoes arrive and depart by ship, rail, and even a few trucks. Handling many different cargoes balances the ups and downs of world markets. Staying competitive also means attracting new investment, avoiding conflicts about land use, and preventing gateway congestion. Doing this requires us to understand our environment, minimize our footprint, and manage the impacts of growth. Just as important, the communities we depend on for success need to be informed, engaged, and invested in. Prince Rupert's highest priority is marine safety, which is why different agencies like the Coast Guard, tug operators, and marine pilots work together with the port's harbor master using tools like radar, navigational aids, environmental sensors, and electronic beacons to safeguard commerce, personnel, and the environment. These are the strengths of the Port of Prince Rupert, growing Canadian trade to benefit workers and communities while keeping operations safe and sustainable. In 2015, cargo volumes grew, while we prepared for more in the future. The container terminal set a new record, as wood pellets, grain exports, and project cargo movements all increased. Coal volumes dropped in response to markets, triggering preparation for even more diversification. Meanwhile, expansion of the container terminal began, and new shipping lines joined Costco and Hanjin in carrying containers between China, Japan, South Korea, and Fairview Terminal. Work was done to make a safe port even safer. Funding for a new radar system was announced, and through partnerships, additional navigation aids were installed. Environmental monitoring initiatives measured the port's impact on air, water, and habitats. The Green Wave Incentive Program encouraged shippers to reduce vessel emissions. Moving goods through the Prince Rupert Gateway takes the hard work of thousands of women and men in Prince Rupert and Northern BC, which results in millions in wages and tax revenues. The port also shares success in more ways, including investments in community projects, like the Transition Society's Family Counseling Trailer, Leicester Center Roof Repairs, and a new kitchen and greenhouse for residents of Kit Katla. You can read all about these milestones in our interactive annual report, which is a chronicle of our relationship with the country, communities, and markets where we do business. It's also a roadmap to an even more beneficial picture of success.